So in the process of messing around with uh, these garden tractors, these John Deere's that I've got, uh, one of the things that proved to be a bit of a hassle was the fact that none of the shutoff valve, the fuel shutoff valves that are mounted on the undersides of the gas tanks were stopping the fuel. You would screw them in to the point that they felt like they bottomed out and there's still plenty of fuel coming out like you hadn't done anything at all. So I this this one's from a um, wheel horse, by the way, but it looks like it's the same valve. But anyway, so <clears throat> I decided to take one of them out and take it apart. This is one of them from one of the 200 series John Deere's. So there's supposed to be an O-ring that goes on here. I removed that O-ring thinking that that could have been part of my problem. And removing the O-ring was not fun all by itself, but I have to put a new one on there yet. But you can see, you know, there's the threads and whatnot and the little tapered section there that um, is the actual stopper valve. So it looks like it's a pretty straightforward thing, right? The um, What was happening is it's getting gunk um, dried up deposits of fuel built up on the inside of these threads. And that's what was stopping me from being able to turn this all the way down and um, uh, shut the valve off. So finally, I, I worked this in and out and in and out till I finally got this valve working correctly. And then I got to thinking, boy, it sure would be nice if I could just get a tap to solve the problem on the other John Deere's. Just undo this nut, take this out, run the tap up through it, clean the threads, put it back together and go right into business. The only problem is these seem to be a very oddball thread size. Now, obviously, given my, given my level of experience, I could have goofed this up. But as best as I can determine, these are around about a six millimeter by 0.8 I think that was what I came up with. Uh, metric thread. Nothing in standard seemed to fit. Um, and the 0.8 seemed to fit perfectly. I'm sure it probably doesn't show up very well on the camera. But at any rate, I thought, okay, no big deal. I'll just go get online and do a little research and see if I can find a M6 by 0.8 tap. Well, no such luck. There's a six millimeter uh, M6 by 0.75 tap, but it would appear that the 0.8 doesn't exist. So I got to thinking to myself, okay, I'll just take this valve that I was uh, showing you earlier from the wheel horse and I would just simply cut a slot in it and make a tap out of that but I thought eh, I really hate to destroy a perfectly good valve just to make a tool so I got to looking around a little bit and the diameter of this is or was within about a thousandth of an inch of the same diameter of quarter by 28. Now, obviously, the 28 pitch is a little bit of an odd ball, or is a little bit different than the 0.8 millimeter, but I thought if I just take one, one thread, literally one thread, and run it through, come on, here we go, put a little cutting surface, or a little cutting edge on the end of it, 
that I could get by. So I made this little tool out of brass. It's not pretty, but it's effective. And since I can't cut, or again, with my skill level, I'm unable to cut anything metric on my imperial lathes. So I just figured I would uh, make do. With this being brass, it can kind of give a little bit. And um, all it's got to do is clear gunk out of existing threads. It doesn't have to cut threads in steel. It just has to clear out dried up gas. <clears throat> and it looks like this is going to work like a champ. I chamfered or tapered this back a little bit because this goes in on kind of an odd angle in comparison to the hole because, you know, obviously the threads don't match up properly. But if in the future I get into a situation to where I can cut a 0.8 thread, I can, you know, do this over again and make a better tool. But in the meantime, now all I've got to do is pull the uh, pull the valve itself out while it's still on the tractor, run this up through, and call it a day. So, it ain't pretty, but it darn sure looks like it's going to be effective. And, uh, I mean, I know I can get these things for dirt cheap, but even at that, it's still a hassle to get these things out of the old tank and wait for, you know, the new valve to show up, etc., etc., Something that took me about 45 minutes is going to save me a lot of hassle in the future. So anyways, I thought there might be a couple of uh, garden tractor guys out there that might get a kick out of that one.